G'day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here, and uh, here we have a flight from Brisbane to Sydney. This is a telephoto shot, and it's showing how the condensation trail takes probably 15 miles or so before it evaporates, it dissipates and it goes back into the surrounding air. Now if there was 5% less moisture in that air you would not see a condensation trail at all. I speak about moisture content and dew point because 30 years ago there was 5% less condensation because 30 years ago there was 5% less moisture in the air because 30 years ago the temperature was 0.8 of a degree Celsius lower than it is now because 30 years ago global warming hadn't kicked in. And it is normal, or it was normal, half the time for the air in the upper atmosphere to be too dry to show a condensation trail. During World War II there used to be lots of condensation trails. Coming out of the engines of the bombers and the fighters when they were up above 25,000 feet. Didn't happen every day, but when it did happen, they hung around for ages because you introduce extra moisture into air that's almost at dew point already and there's nowhere for that moisture to go. And it takes quite a while. Sometimes condensation trails will stick around for days. The condensation trails from out the back of cargo ships, they form clouds. The clouds shade the air underneath. The air underneath the condensation trail from a jet or from a boat becomes cooler and the cooler air forms more clouds. But uh, the chemical that you saw coming out of the back end of that passenger jet, I'm informed by the people who know such things, it is dihydrogen monoxide in a vapour form. Dihydrogen monoxide is a, uh, a universal solvent used in many commercial, domestic and industrial applications. If you drink too much dihydrogen monoxide, it will create an osmotic pressure that will rupture your cell membranes and you will die. Terrible stuff, dihydrogen monoxide, otherwise known as water. It's extra water from the hydrogen in the jet fuel burning and combining with the oxygen in the air. And because of global warming, there is 5% more water vapour dissolved in the air now than what there was 30 years ago. There is no such thing as a chemtrail. There are, however, people called chemtrolls. And the chemtrolls like to mistake contrails for their fancy paranoid chem trails. They like to believe that somewhere in the world somebody is maintaining a huge fleet of fake airliners which are actually tankers spraying chemicals into the engine exhaust. I think these chem trolls like to think like that because if they think like that they don't have to worry about global warming and desertification peak oil, peak coal, peak phosphorus, peak timber, peak fish. They can sit there and they can look at the condensation trails in the sky behind 
passenger airliners, and let's face it, there are a lot more passenger airliners now than there were 30 years ago, so there's more aeroplanes flying higher through air that is more often wet enough to make condensation trails. All this leads in the mind of the chem trolls to a grand conspiracy theory, and like most conspiracy theories, its situation normal all fucked up, and it's all fucked up in the head of the chem trolls. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.